receive my instructions. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. I want you to touch gloves now. You're boxing at the bell. God bless you both. Sir. We'll be using the unified rules. No three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. And the event of an Wait accidental bell, foul man. will go to the scorecards after four rounds complete. They are taped up. They are laced up. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. There's going to be a championship okay. fight. And the first round or two should tell us everything we need to know. Thomas Top Dog Williams in the purple trunks has come out like a Tasmanian devil in his last two fights and ended them in under two rounds. But he faces one of the most feared knockout punchers in the sport. One thing Williams constantly talked about when talking to us is the power in Adonis Stevenson's left hand. He respects it. He says, I don't see anything else, but I see a powerful left hand. You see right now, he respects it. As of now, he hasn't needed anything else but that hammer. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this guy has that deceptive, debilitating power, man. And uh, this fight is going to come down to what Thomas Williams can take. There can he go. hit? Can he get hit and still stay strong? That left hand, Stevenson says, is the best left in the world, regardless of division. He's knocked out heavyweights in sparring. The late Emmanuel Stewart, who once worked with a younger Adonis Stevenson, said it's, he's the most naturally strong fighter that Stewart had ever worked with to that point. That's saying something. And Thomas Williams Jr.'s last fight against Edwin Rodriguez had a brawl. He got knocked down, got back up. Didn't see a lot of defense in that fight. We'll, we'll see if we see some tonight, but he's usually a guy who goes in and throws. He goes in and brawls and depends on his ability to get back up again. He doesn't have a, he has resolve. But he, he, does, he doesn't seem to be intimidated right now, so that's a good thing. Moving forward, but not throwing as much as we've seen him throw in previous fights. Absolutely. Respect for that left, which has whistled by the chin of Williams two or three times so far in this opening 90 seconds. Stevenson, the book on him is he's not comfortable in the phone booth. He wants to snipe from distance, wants to load up. Can Williams get close enough? Top dog's gonna have to stop leaning back when, he's, uh, when he throws that left hand. I mean, he's a sitting duck when he does that. He's gonna have to get up under it, make him miss. Right there. Oh. Tarver, you were analyzing it, it saying Williams was leaning right. back, watching out Check for that go. left Let's hand. Go. He was leaning sideways Check when he got go. caught and dropped by it. Right there, there's nowhere to go. I mean, he has to make him miss by going to the right, slipping and rolling up under that left hand. Top Dog has not gone to the third round in his previous two pro fights. Round number two has been his gem, actually, in those fights, where he's been able just to open up wildly. There you see wild punches from the outside, leaving his face wide open if Stevenson can find that hole. But Top Dog has power as well. It's basically who can land first. And a left connects solidly by Stevenson. So far, it's been no comparison. Yeah. Donna Stevenson really doing damage with that left hand. Williams, really, so far, not able to find his own offense. You said he swung some wild shots, but no effective damage. He's going to have to pick that right hand up if he's not going to slip to the right. Man, just missing the chin as Williams taps his chin, saying, come on, break some more. Oh, Stevenson oh. is certainly trying to block. Now he has those hands up walking straight. There you go. Man. Now he's going to give himself a chance to land some shots here. Can he get Adonis Stevenson? 
is it uncomfortable to get him moving backward? I think all he has to do is land a shot that gets the champion's attention. But again, he's a sitting duck for that straight left hand. Yeah, Williams is open it up now. In one way or another, this thing doesn't have the look. Oh, nice right. Something that's going to go long. Williams scores and wildly throws but just barely misses it. But you can see that he's going for all or nothing. But love, guys. Yep. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> <Buckle. laughs> and Williams starting to throw back. I think, I think Top Dog was on to something when he was walking with his hands straight up like that and getting close to the champion. There you go. In its rawest essence, this is what the sport is. Two men throwing the heaviest shots they possibly can who can remain standing. What he's trying to do is kind of stifle that left hand, get inside of it. Zodonis needs a little bit of range to throw. He likes the straight left. That requires some space. And Williams now trying to take it away from him. Come Top Dog! trying to dodge the punches a couple of them land i like his style right there we got to keep those hands high and walk full the crowd chanting superman moments ago for the fighter who fights out of montreal about two and a half hours away resides in a suburb of montreal if you thought this kid was going to lay down the first time he got hit think again but he can't do that there he gets inside hits stevenson with a combination the champ was staggered at the end of round two and some mugging by top dog we got a fight on our hands in round one stevenson scored a knockdown round two the end of the round jimmy some action by top dog because he's changing the range, getting inside, throwing combinations. This is not where Adonis Superman Stevenson wants the fight. See the confidence at the end, Shane. That's the shimmy shake, baby. That's when you know you're feeling good in there. I think Top Dog has found something with this new style. Two entertaining rounds in the books. We're opening round number three, live from Quebec. The WBC Light Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The man in the yellow trunks has not lost in six years. If you notice something, when, when Williams is walking forward like that, it discourages Stevenson even throw the left hand because he doesn't see an opening. How about this? Our unofficial scorekeeper, PBC historian Corey Erdman, scored it 10-8 in round one with the knockdown for Superman. But round two to top dog. Well, Donna Stevenson, for all his power, he likes a clean left hand. There was a left that made, made its way through. Yeah, he likes space and he likes range. And Williams, oh, right. right, takes that away from him. Two rights get through on Superman. Stevenson's being backed up right now. He don't like to fight off that back foot. I told you, top dog has found something. He has to stick to this plan, though. Heavy left, even with, when it hits the guard, you can hear the noise through the arena. <laughs> Top dog, when he does his work, he does it quickly. 20 and 1 is his record. 14 wins by knockout. 13 of those 14 knockouts, three rounds or less. Here we are in round number three. He said he don't get paid extra for the extra round. He get paid extra. <laughs> He'd get paid a whole lot in this fight in the future if he could score the biggest win of his life. Williams Jr.'s cr uh, corner yelling nothing when Superman threw that last left. Close quarter combat here. Williams missing over the top twice. But that's the distance that the guys have said. This favors the man in the purple. You see the chant right now. Uh oh Oh, that was an uppercut. And then Stevenson scored and tried to finish it with an uppercut, but couldn't land. They're banging it's inside. Not that hurt. They are banging inside. Superman throws wildly and misses. Top dog trying to regain his senses. I told you, if you ever 
I've seen a fighter that gets hurt and be more dangerous when he's hurt. It's top dog Williams, man. He, he has big heart, and all he wants to do is fight back. Williams, I think, complaining there was a headbutt somewhere in that exchange. And the close range, a lot of this fight. Oh, still fighting back. Good right hook. A slugfest in Quebec. Welcome back. You see a knot above the left eyebrow of the challenger, Thomas Top Dog Williams. You'll see it when we get in close. Our referee, Michael Griffin, in between rounds, looked over and told us he ruled that was from a punch, not a headbutt. To my eyes, it looked like Williams Jr. was claiming that that damage was done by a headbutt. Well, that damage was done by a low blow, which sends Top Dog down to a knee, and Michael Griffin will give him the time required to recuperate. Good call, left right. hand. Okay, let's you know go. how brutal that left Time hand in. is. That one's gonna hurt. Time in, I did. Time in, don't worry. Box, keep him up, Adonis. That's a result of Adonis Stevenson going to the body a bit more. Nice hook. These guys are throwing. They're opening up. They are not thinking about scorecards. They're both thinking about a knockout right now. If Tom Dog gonna fight like this, he's gonna have to land something big because those uppercuts, it's, it's, it's really destroying his eye. Oh, good body shot by Chen. There's a cut underneath the eye. Damage on the top of the eyebrow for Top Dog, and damage underneath the eye as well. Adonis is going with the uppercut, he's going with the body shot. He knows Williams is doing well, reading that straight left, so he's pulling other tricks out of his bag. A lot of body work, a lot of inside work. A beautiful shot. Liver punch will take it right out of here. Williams came in with the uppercut on the other 
other side. Left him wide open. Bang. Listen, Thomas William may not be the biggest knockout puncher, hey, but for Don Stevens to take those type of shots and still have this type of power, I don't know what light heavyweight can stand in front of that. He says it's the best left hand in the world. It just turned him another victory. The crowd loved every punch and every round. He goes to 28 and 1, and we'll hear the official announcement after this commercial break. The crowd at the video.